I'm expecting a call from my boss and I've been waiting for like half an hour for her to call and I just have been putting off refilming this because again we had a clip problem but you know what it's all okay in Monica land so let's get right through it and if like you see a really big change in the lights or if like suddenly things seem a little bit weird it's because my boss is obviously going to call the second I start recording love it Love that for me. What did I say? The moment I started filming, she was gonna call. But anyway, <laughs> such is life. So, hi there, I'm Monica, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're new, please do subscribe, do hit that bell button, do like this video, do leave me a comment saying, hey, I'm new, nice shirt, you know, or something. I love this shirt, by the way. But anyway, today's video is a straight up Q&A, but I also wanted to add a little giveaway because I didn't do a giveaway for my 1K subscribers because my 1K came at the beginning of the month when, you know, I had to pay all my bills, but I'm gonna run this giveaway from now, which is October the 19th until October the 31st. I will announce the winner on November the 1st and what I am giving away is essentially any book of your liking up to 20 euros and this in this giveaway is open internationally as long as Amazon or Book Depository ships to you. There is that's pretty much it. I have never done a giveaway. I am kind of nervous and to enter all you have to do is leave me a comment down below That's it. That's it and be subscribed to my channel I will check if you're subscribed to my channel because of course this is a video for my subscribers. So Without further ado, let's get right into the questions. By the way, whatever you leave me down below. Just make sure it's nothing like weird I don't, I don't know why I feel that I have to say that, but I feel that I have to say that. All right, the first questions that I'm gonna answer for this Q&A are from Twitter. So I'm gonna answer a couple of them. Thank you so much for everyone that submitted a question. I didn't get like a ton of questions, but I think I got enough where this video is not gonna be in entirely boring, excuse me. So let's see. Are there any videos you have tried to make but didn't like the outcome? There are videos that I've tried to make and it's not that I didn't like the outcome, it's just that they never, like I never finished filming them. Like for example, I had another book to movie adaptation video, but because of the way, like, because of when I read a certain book, I didn't want to add that to the channel and it was just a disaster and I just never finished it. I also have started a lot of weekend vlogs, but then I end up not reading, therefore I don't do them. But a video where I really like plan it out and say I'm gonna do this and you know, or I get to the editing table and I just scrap it, that doesn't happen. I, I <laughs> We work with what we have. So basically the answer is, not really. Name a book with a cover that does not do it justice. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have a book where the cover doesn't do the book justice. I like I say I'm very much a cover buyer and all of the books that I have, the covers have been covers that I've sought out because I really like them because I really like to have like a like a curated collection of books if you will. So, I don't know a book whose cover doesn't match the innards that I own. That's a really shitty answer, but that's what I got for you. The other question is your biggest uh, surprise of the year book-wise. Oh my gosh, I have so many, but I have to say that I guess my biggest, biggest surprise of the year was Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Temio. This was again, I think I've told this story a million times, but I was just perusing through um, script and I wanted to read more diverse um, science fiction and I wanted to read specifically science fiction written by a black author and I came across this book and I was like you know what I'm just gonna give it a chance and it turned out to be one of my favorite books of all time so I'm just gonna go with Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Temio. Are you tired of listening about this book? I don't think so because I'm gonna say it again and again because I love this book, okay? If you could read a book over as if it was the first time, which which book would it be? Oh man, if I could read a book over. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the first 
thought that I had and that is The Search for Gold Black by Tony the Terlitzi. If I could read that book again and experience that world again, I definitely would for the first time. I got the same feelings when I read that book as I did when I saw Star Wars for the first time and I used to be such a big Star Wars fan and I just adore that book and everything about it and I wish that I could experience it again for the first time because I'm somebody that when I really love something, I'm not somebody that's going to like rewatch, re-see, re-listen. Like I'm very careful with that. Like for me, it's like almost sacred. So I wish that I could experience it again for the first time because it was just such a <sighs> moment for me. Like, wow, this is everything that I've been looking for in a book. And yeah, that's the book that I would pick to read again for the first time. Somebody asked me my current favorite song and the only song that I can think about right now is Creep by Radiohead and I've been listening to it non-stop. Like I told you, I only listen to certain musics, certain musics, certain songs non-stop, like on loop and this has been the one that's been like on loop constantly and I, and I just really love that song so. There you go, uh, Creep by Radiohead. My favorite hot drink, I like coffee, like little bit of coffee with a lot of soy milk and sugar. I'm not, I'm not a, like, I'm not a big drinks fan, if you know what I mean. Like I could drink water all day and be fine. So hot drinks are just not my cup of tea. Favorite horror film, this is interesting. If, um, I don't know how many of you know, but I actually did my, thesis dissertation on horror, like the genre of horror, and I picked, at the time I um, I did I did my dissertation focusing on the omen and paranormal activity. Paranormal activity was my favorite horror film for a really long time, so was the Blair Witch Project. I like horror films where I can kind of feel that they're real, but I think, um, what is my favorite horror film? I I think, you know what? I think I, I am going to go with my gut and I'm going to say Paranormal Activity. Of course, at, the, at this time, right now, that film has no impact and it's been turned into a horrible franchise that I wish would just die you know, already. But the first time I saw Paranormal Activity, it really was one of the most disturbing experiences that I've ever felt and I think that it's like a masterclass in creating suspense and horror. I also want to mention Wreck, the original Spanish version. I had to watch that film in three different days because there was a time where I was like super scared of zombies. Like I truly believe there would be a zombie apocalypse and I had to watch that film in three days because I was terrified. So I guess my answer would be, um, like on the spot, <laughs> I would say Paranormal Activity and Wreck. I'm pretty sure there are better films out there, but that's, that's, that's what you get. That's what you get right now. And then I have a book you'll never read. I have many. I have many books that I'll never read. But I think the one that comes to my head is um, The Hunger Games, the... The, the Hunger Games. Yeah, I know that that's kind of controversial on booktube, but I just, I have zero interest in reading The Hunger Games. Like, I guess the second Twilight book, because I did read the first Hunger Games book and I read the first Twilight book. So like any of those sequels or anything by Sarah J Maas, I'm not, we're not doing that. I could go on for hours about this. Like that could be a video all on its own. And then we have my favorite Dark Academia book and film. If you've been um, to my channel, you know that my favorite Dark Academia book is The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I love that book. I love everything about that book. I love how like nitty gritty and grimy and disgusting and just bad it is. Like, like I love how it just took everything that you love about magical schools and it was like, fuck all of that this is what it's really like and i feel that it just spoke to the little monica in me that read harry potter and was like this is some bullshit i want some drugs and sex and alcohol and death and that's pretty much what you get with the magicians by Lev grossman now my favorite dark academia movie I don't think I've watched many dark academia movies, to be honest with you. Oh, I do know, 
What the fuck? I have a tattoo of this movie. Um, oh, what's it called? Kill Your Darlings. Kill Your Darlings. I was obsessed with the beats for a while and I found out that this movie was coming out and me and my best friend were just like, we were the beat generation but we weren't and we actually there's the story about me jumping off a wall because we decided to let go of our mortar coils in order to really experience art and then i like started bleeding because i cut my face it was a whole thing and i have a tattoo that says um first thought best thought so there you go that that, that was a long i, I like that i'm kind of dark academia today so <laughs> that's my answer to that question then I got another question, which is, what is your favorite science fiction movie? Currently, this changes a lot, you know, but currently, I think my favorite science fiction movie is Solaris. And you all got to see me react to that in person. I just, I adore that movie. Every time I think about it, my heart just like stops. Like, it's so good. <laughs> What's the scariest book you've ever read? The scariest book I've ever read. I've got two options for this. The first one is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. I literally had to close that book because I got so scared reading it. Um, I just had to close it. I was reading and I was like, nope, I'm noping out of this right about now. I was talking to somebody about it in this horror uh, discord run by Chapter Stacks. So good. A lot of horror, a lot of horror discussions in there. And basically, uh, I just... Because I am Venezuelan and we have a lot of superstition and we have we know a lot about Santeria and all of that stuff It just got to a point where I was like this is getting way too real for this girl So I just had to like close the book because I was really scared now the book that made me it's not scared like I was just I was no I was terrified I was terrified but not in like that horrified sense you know i talk about that in my dissertation the difference between horrified and terrified but anyway basically i was scared i was literally like holding my breath scared and that is the long walk by richard bachman or stephen king pen name so um yeah those are the two books those are the two scariest books that i've ever read and both of them like one of the I, I i can't decide between them because it's different kinds of scared one i was scared because i was like noping out of it this is way too supernatural for me and the other one was noping out of it because this shit just got way too real and i don't know what mr king is gonna do and for the record i actually don't like most Stephen king novels but i really 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 love the long walk another question if you had to make a second youtube channel what would it be about listen here I have this idea in my head that eventually I am going to make a true crime second channel <laughs> where I just talk about true crime, but not just true crime. I want to talk about true crime that is barely talked about, like Spanish true crime, Venezuelan true crime, like true crime that is not US based because again, we all love you, United States love you guys but you know it's not all about you all the time and um canadian true crime i want to delve into that kind of stuff so i would love to make like a true crime channel where i just sit here and talk to you about true crime i would love to do that i would also like to do like a lifestyle channel but for that i would actually have to have a life outside of filming youtube videos for my book channel and also working and i don't have that so that's a no only if you want to discuss it you mentioned you have a history with ADD. i'd love to hear what was key to helping you recover now um we're gonna get real here i wouldn't call myself recovered from my ed i am currently going through a relapse relapses happen what keeps me in check is remembering that this disorder that i have been suffering with for 17 years basically takes over my life and ruins everything good in it in fact just recently i kind of had this moment where i just didn't want to film and the reason that i didn't want to film was because my body dysmorphia was just so bad and i just have to remember that i can and i've ha and i have experienced better without this disorder therefore that's 
kind of the key things that keeps me going and keeps me going back to my doctor and being like hey we're having a problem i'm falling back into old habits help me out like staying honest with my doctors and remembering that there is life after an eating disorder um is what keeps me going i've been struggling with this for 17 years i've gone through long periods of recovery and i've gone through long periods of relapses so it's kind of a mixed bag i try to do my best but sometimes yeah you know i sometimes I hate to say my best is not good enough, but sometimes I need extra help. So I just make sure to keep an open line of communication when I do need that extra help. And to remember that the thoughts that I put in my head are just thoughts. You know, they're not realities. So I could do a whole video on that. Let me know if you would like a video all about eating disorders and stuff like that. If you can spend a day with one fictional character, who would it be? This one? Wow. Who would I hang on? Because my, my legs are cramped. Okay. I'm sorry I'm a if I'm a little shorter, but my legs were cramping. Um, if I could spend a day with any fictional character, who would it be? I don't know, because I read a lot about like a lot of horrible people and not a lot of nice people that I would like to spend my time with and say, hey, let's have a drink together or something. I was going to say I would like to spend some time with Spencer, but I think Spencer and I are so alike that we would just like kill each other. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go with Kuo from the, um, the Name of the Wind, and I'm going to be like, just fucking tell me what happened. Can you like, like get to the point? You know, it wouldn't be like, oh, let's spend some time together. It would be like, dude, you've been telling the story for fucking ever. I had read a thousand eight hundred pages of you rambling on what actually happened. Like, what the fuck? That that's he would really like that, I guess. What is one way to start to paying attention to audiobooks? Now, I actually didn't get into audiobooks until I had to commute for a really long time every day. And honestly, <laughs> the way I got into audiobooks was I would just put on headphones. And since I just don't listen to music that often and I can't read in moving vehicles, I just started listening to audiobooks uh at first i did get lost i did get confused but like anything else i got used to it so that's pretty much it and well those are all the questions that i got for this q a i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you learned a little bit about me about my taste about my likes about my dislikes etc so remember to comment down below um one comment per person by the way for the giveaway it only counts as one comment you can comment comment anything just a black heart if you want um but you do have to be subscribed and you do have to comment down below i will post it on twitter but twitter does not count this is for my youtube subscribers so without any further ado I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that I appreciate each and every single one of you, and that I would see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.